exception handling when errors may occur in main program or in cleanup. This is with Python 2.6.6, default, on Debian Squeeze. Consider the following Python code. The error obtained is The idea is to cope with a situation where either some code or the cleanup of that code, which is always run, or both, gives an error. There is some discussion of this, for example, by Ian Bicking in re-raising exceptions. At the end of that post, see update column, he describes how to handle the similar case of code plus rollback slash revert, only run in case of error. I fiddled with this and came up with the code above, which is a bit of a monstrosity. In particular, if there is only an error in cleanup, commenting out raise exception error in main, the code still exits normally, though it does print out a traceback. Currently, I'm giving the non-cleanup error priority, so it gets to stop the program. Ideally I'd like either error to stop the program, but that doesn't seem too easy to arrange. Python seems to only want to raise one error, losing the others if any and by default it is usually the last one. Rearranging this gives rise to convolutions like above. Also the use of locals is a bit ugly. Can one do better? Edit, Sergerk's answer introduced me to the notion of the context managers and the with keyword. In addition to PEP 343, the other relevant bits of documentation I found are, in no particular order. Context manager types, the with statement, and, this URL. This certainly seems like a big improvement on previous approaches to this, i.e. spaghetti code involving tries, accepts, and finales. To summarize, there are two things that I want such a solution to give me. The ability for an exception in either the main code or in the cleanup to stop the program in its tracks. Context managers do this, because if the body of the with loop has an exception and the body of the exit does not, then that exception is propagated. If exit throws an exception and the body of the with loop does not, then that is propagated. If both throw an exception, then the exit exception is propagated and the one from the body of the while loop is suppressed. This is all documented i.e. from context manager types. Context manager dot exit x underscore type, x underscore val, x underscore tb. Exit the runtime context and return a boolean flag indicating if any exception that occurred should be suppressed. Returning a true value from this method will cause the with statement to suppress the exception and continue execution with the statement immediately following the with statement. Otherwise the exception continues propagating after this method has finished executing. Exceptions that occur during execution of this method will replace any exception that occurred in the body of the with. Statement, the exception passed and should never be re-raised explicitly. Instead, this method should return a false value to indicate that the method completed successfully and does not want to suppress the raised exception. If there are exceptions in both places, I want to see tracebacks from both, even if technically only one exception is thrown. This is true based on experimentation, because if both throw an exception, then the exit exception is propagated, but the traceback from the body of the while loop is still printed, as in Sergerk's answer. However, I can't find this documented anywhere, which is unsatisfactory. Ideally, you'd use the Python with statement to handle the cleanup within the try dot 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 accept block, which would look something like this.
When I run this, it prints. Note, either exception will terminate the program, and can be dealt with in the accept statement. Edit, according to the with statement documentation linked to above, the underscore exit underscore method should only raise an exception if there is an error inside underscore exit underscore, that is, it should not re-raise the exception passed into it. This is a problem if both the code in the with statement and the underscore exit underscore method raise an exception. In that case, the exception that is caught in the accept clause is the one raised in underscore exit underscore. If you want the one raised in the with statement, you can do something like this. This prints. A similar behavior can be obtained by providing a customized exception hook. Example output. In this example the code works as follows. If an exception isn't caught, except hook is executed, before printing the exception, except hook runs some cleanup code that was under finally in the original question, if an exception is raised in the hook, that exception is printed and, after that, the original exception is also printed. Note, I haven't found any documentation regarding the printing of the original exception when something fails in the hook, but I've seen this behavior in both Python and Jython. In particular, in Python I've seen the following implementation. You were pretty close to a simple solution. Just use traceback.print underscore in the first exception, then you don't have to handle the second exception anymore. Here's what that could look like. The information whether an exception was thrown is stored in error 7 and if that was the case, system exit is raised at the end of the finally block. Output with both raised statements enabled. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.